Hello YouTubers, hello world. This time is a video about the convicted stalker. Primarily because I had a question asked on one of the comments on one of the videos by BD Junkie. Thank you BD, much appreciated. Um, your comment said that Adrian's two teaser hooks when he was promoting the channel, the, the G-A-Y, good as you, adult videos on laptop and the TV star who snubbed him were addressed but they were somewhat matter-of-fact rather than earth-shattering revelations. Well, I think you'll find <clears throat> it is how it lands with you. Um, I believe that what I told you in those two instances were earth-shattering because you'd had a man for three years, say, since the beginning of uh, all the madness that's been around the last couple of years. He was portraying himself to you one way. He was using jelly wobblers, he was um, salivating over Carol Vorderman and other celebs. He was portraying himself one way. So for me to tell you the story about the G-A-Y P-O-R-N on his laptop when he was portraying himself a different way, I think that's given his image um, an earth-shattering jolt. I mean, he's not going to get any of that, uh, jelly wobblers and Carol Vorderman while he's inside. Is he now? So, and I don't think that's ever been, that definitely hasn't been brought out by anyone else because they haven't got that experience. And, and what I've said in a lot of the videos, this is my life experience. This is not an opinion. I've lived this. He was my friend until he wasn't. And he was up to stuff that he possibly doesn't want other people to know. Well, I'm happy to tell you. So I think that in itself, when he's got an image and a narrative that he's maintaining, and I've just lobbed that into the park. The other thing about um, the TV star in Vegas that said no. Um, so I'm giving you context of what I said. So the, the, it, it lands more deeply. So you actually get what I was saying behind the inference and what it means, what it actually means. Now, the Vegas trip with a TV star, that's predatory. That's having expectations that in today's society shouldn't even be there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if we hear from someone that he stalked her afterwards or was trolling her online or sending her nasty emails. Because as I've said in the video, he was, they argued all week. Within the first couple of days, it all went Upside down. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to swear there, and I'm not allowed to, seemingly. Um, it just all went awry for him. He told me that on the telephone when he got back. So, was it narcissistic? Oh, I think so. Predatory? Oh, definitely. Entitled? Most certainly. Grandiosity in Vegas. Take someone to Vegas and then she says, no, of course it is. And superficiality? Oh, it's Vegas. Since when has Vegas been anything of any depth and arrogance? Expecting to have and be given something from someone just because they've taken them to Vegas. So there's a lot of subtext going on where you feel it might have been matter of fact. Well, actually... There are rules around what I can record and upload because they're called guidelines. So I have to be very aware of the YouTube guidelines and try and stay within them. Sometimes I will, mostly, sorry, sometimes I won't, but mostly I will. And I'll, I'll throw my hands up and be honest with you. So long as it's consensual and legal and doesn't involve animal and kids and the elderly... Look, you can do whatever you want behind your own bedroom door when it's closed. I'm not judging anyone, but what I'm saying to you is that he was portraying himself one way when actually the reality was very different. As I've said in another video, perception versus reality. And when he took the, the, the TV star, the, the young girl, um, to Vegas, unsavoury, expectation, predatory, narcissistic, all of that. So to, to, to give you that context, I feel I need to give you another insight. And 
at the beginning of the noughties, there was there was dating websites rather than dating apps. Um, look, we've only had text for 20 years-ish, give or take. So dating websites were the thing in the early noughties. Now, it's not kind of like you have today with Plenty of Fish, Match.com, Tinder, Grindr, Gaydar. Was, some of those were around in the, in the early noughties, but it's not like it is today. It's a, it's a wash with dating apps and people live their lives through some of them. But this was mainly at his Canary Wharf apartment. And he took great delight in telling me stories about what he was up to. Now, sometimes it was single women. Sometimes didn't quite go to plan. Had a penchant for black women and white women. But, and somebody was asking about his sexual proclivities in one of the comments of the, one of the videos the other day. What he loved more than anything were threesomes with couples. And I don't mean, you know, two women, or even two guys for that matter. He regaled me with stories of he wanted to be with couples, married couples, so that there was a man and a woman. So you see, when the judge in his summing up says, when the convicted stalker wanted to sort of come across as contritious, and obviously said, I'm part of the LGBTQ community. Yeah, he was. But it wasn't the G in the LGBTQ plus community. It was the B. Now, in subsequent years, recently, he may have decided that, you know, women weren't for him. I've no idea. But at the time, we were friends and he regaled me with the stories. He was definitely be an LGBTQ community. So that's where he was when he was a younger guy, late teens, early to mid 20s, maybe late 20s. He's now 40 odd, 42. Who knows where he's at? But he'll find himself in prison, hopefully, with the support and guidance of, uh, of the prison service and the support that they can help offer and help him but as I say I judge no one about what they do so long as it's consensual and legal and it doesn't involve kids or animals I don't care what you do my name's Adrian Allen thank you for your likes your subscriptions but most of all your indulgence please ding the bell and if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.